today. I'm angry on Strickland. You've probably been following some of my work on Strickland and it on Facebook. And uh, the still photography does show you a fair bit of the process and procedure that we're doing. Uh, what I want to show you today is what the silk photography can't really show you. And that's uh, shrinking. This is uh, shrinking. This is one of my special super buttons that I use. Uh, what it is, it's 1.6 millimeter thick uh, stamped stainless steel. It's completely smooth, it doesn't include the serrations as such. Uh, and the way it works is that uh, once it's spun, it will heat up the uh, high spots on the steel and basically then the kind of that shape. This coil of HP cool panels here has had quite a lot of work done on it. It's been damaged uh, in its life and basically it's like getting things close and then scraping against it is and all those and things. I've had to replace uh, the front section that was rusted out, I've replaced all the rear arch, all the way down the bottom, I've replaced the whole bottom of the guard and I've been uh, put in the, the, uh, the pedal lock as it's so with all that work, um, you can imagine this quite a quarter panel and on top of it all its damage. It was going to be um, quite a bit of a job to, uh, to get it back to how the factory made it. As you can imagine, every time you weld, uh, you create a heat and heat draws its uh, distortion. Now metal does three things. It stretches, which is how the panel was made in the first place. It's a stamped piece of panel steel. Uh, it shrinks. It doesn't do that so easily because it's quite happy being in a HP quarter panel. It doesn't really want to be anything else other than possibly a bent HP quarter panel. And the third thing metal does is it does nothing at all, which is super bloody frustrating because it just leaves you two things, stretching and shrinking. Stretching is done very easily and shrinking is not so easy. So this, the traditional method of uh, shrinking is done by uh, the oxytorch. And this is where we'll heat up a little cherry red spot. And then after it's heated up, we grab our uh, hammer and, and dolly, and we beat that back down into shape. And that draws the steel back into where it's supposed to go. Hopefully. And that thus eliminates the high spot. Now the problem is, um, sometimes you don't really want to introduce an oxytorch into such a large, vast area of flat panel, or you're trying to do some shrinks inside a little tight area uh, where uh, oxytorch is just going to make a great big mess of it all over again. And this is where this tool comes in handy. So I'm not sure if the light's picking it up or not, but a HQ quarter panel is supposed to have a recess down through here and it's, it's like a concave uh, and then it becomes full again up into the uh, sail panel. And the problem is with all the work that we've done to it, it's pulled away out of shape plus all the bulk that's been going out of this uh, means that um, it's had a pretty bad uh, past life with uh, damage and that sort of thing. So what I want to show you is uh, just quickly how this works and I've got a little tiny bit of a high spot here. Um, the light should show that that's a little bit pregnant right there. And what this will do is hopefully bring that high spot down. This rag is not sopping wet, it's uh, just slightly damp, and that's just to take a little bit of the heat out of it a bit quicker. And what it's doing is that all the molecules are all rushing in together and thus shrinking the steel. Now straight away, I can feel there, even if it's not showing on camera, I can feel that that's actually starting to do something. I had put an oxytorch heat shrink here just to give an idea of how much I had to bring this down. When I sort of move too much, I go, okay, we'll leave that alone and move on to the shrinking disc. Um, some of the other spots where I've done some heat shrinks, they were quite stretched, and this will have its limitations. It's not going to bring down a great big uh, warped area. That's where panel beating comes in. If it's a very big high spot, you're going to have to panel beat it and possibly heat shrink it with uh, traditional methods. This, however, is very, very good at trying to get uh, that final shape and get the panel to pull back into, um, into a nice taut uh, panel again. Now, you can see here, that's all canning. 
it's springing back out basically to where it's got to be. That still is a little bit full. If you've got a panel that is all canning, you can use the shrinking disc on that panel and hopefully it will eliminate a lot of that oil canning. You may have to do some traditional heat shrinks with the OxyTorch. So, um, yeah, hopefully you'll uh, have learnt a little bit about um, what this matrix